Hello, 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 chat. You may be wondering, currently, why the hell is there no music, there's nothing in the background, the screen isn't even moving, the only thing moving is me. That, that's me, there's something in the background now, it was me again. But, the reason is because I wanted us to experience this together. Uh, yes, that's good, that's good, that's okay. Just... It just, it's, it's, it's a glorious feeling. I don't know. It's, I heard it when I booted it up and it just yeah, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel nice and pretty inside. Ah, uh, but I did create a memory, uh, slot beta. I did create memory slots. That's nice. Apparently I have a memory card with this. I did not expect to have a memory card with this, but we'll get music in a moment. I don't know how loud that is for people. Actually, let me check. Yeah, it could be a little louder. Just a smidge. That should be good. That eh, should be bueno. But if anyone doesn't know this game, I'm just going to let the intro play. Because why not, right? I don't think this has any strict copyright music in it. It's not like it has actual anime music, right? It's not like the Bakugan game where that's heavily copywritten, right? This. This could be. This could be. That, that might be. You never know. Or this. This game does have some pretty badass shit, though. I do love this game. It's been a long time since i played it, actually. A long time. Like, I think, like, a good 8, 10 years. But now we're on this screen. Now you know why that was at the start of the game, uh, stream. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me. Excuse me, that tastes like, uh, mimosa. We'll press the start button. We'll do campaign mode, obviously. Obviously, I just want to see what all the other modes were. Because I've only ever done campaign mode. Oh god, I'm gonna have to read, aren't I? Fuck. Welcome to Capsule Monsters Coliseum. I was gonna say Yu-Gi-Oh! Capsule Monster, but that's, that's not in the title. They didn't name drop it. You're just in time for the big tournament. Yes, no, the thing I was invited to. I'm assuming our character was invited to this. And by our character, I mean Yugi. Wow, what what a compelling intro. It's really not. It's really not, but as a kid, I thought this was the coolest fucking thing. Yes, we're getting this explained to us, of course. I stopped reading, of course. Yep, yep, yep. There will be things. There will definitely be things. Capsule Monster Coliseum Fighter? Oh, only the best. I thought that was the title of the championship. I'm like, that is the worst championship title I think I've ever heard. Music might be a little loud at this point, but I think it's fine. It'll calm down in a little bit. King of Capsule Monsters, of course. It's like Dungeons Dice Monsters, but with capsules. Ah. <clears throat> <coughs> Why am I always choking? See, it's very quiet now. This track is extremely quiet, but it's very nice. Entrance Hall, we don't have a choice. I'm not doing this. Of course... Yes, I'm sure. I'm always sure. Um, Build custom. We're going to build custom. I think I know what I'm doing here. I might not. Why are you taking forever? There it is. What? This is the thing that I've been thinking about the most. I have no idea what attribute to pick. We could do Earth, kind of like how our Yu-Gi-Oh! Champion, well, World Championship deck is an Earth deck. Um, the only maps I really remember are like the first half. And I know that sounds like a lot, but it's not. It's really not. The length of this game comes from its difficulty, I think. Um, you know, obviously I could just pick Dark. 
should we? Or should we pick light? The thing is, if we pick light, we'll probably be doing a bit better. Mm, we might be doing a bit worse against Seto Kaiba. I don't remember exactly how the weaknesses go, but there's going to be a lengthy, a lengthy explanation on that. Um... <clears throat> Because you might see some of these, like, thunder, wood, wind, earth. You're like, those don't make sense. Fire, water, those make sense. I mean, earth makes sense, obviously. Wood just has, like, a particle effect. That's kind of boring. But earth? Earth got nothing. It's just a rock. Mm, this is actually a hard mm, choice. How many are there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I could do a number generator 1 to 8. Nope. Why did I hit B? Build custom. Fuck. Now we gotta do the loading screen again. Oh my god. It's not a loading screen, but... I did not mean to hit B. You know what? I'm leaning towards dark. We're gonna go dark. Oh, this does not matter, by the way. This is just pure decoration. You know, we're going to go ring. If you like it, then you should have put a ring on it. Yeah, I'll go with Onyx. Yeah, I'll go with Onyx. Uh, MP, AP, PP. I don't remember exactly what these are. Oh, I know you can really min-max this to being really good. I think the more monster points I have, the more monsters I can buy at the start. The more AP, I think, we can place monsters in-game. And then PP, I think, is our health. This is just a guess. And I could be completely, utterly wrong. You know what? If I'm right, I don't want that much in health. We will... Let's dump it in AP. Just make it a bit more even. I feel like this will be a bit safer of an option. Uh, yes. I mean, if it's really terrible, I can just restart, god forbid. We are not far. I hope y'all can hear this well. <laughs> hey, Grandpa. How we doing? Alright, there's voice acting! I forgot! Ah, I thought you would come, you here. Nah, I'm always coming. What are you doing? I knew you wouldn't have prepared anything. You're always so impatient. Yeah, I I, I am always so impatient, Grandpa. Thank you. You can use in the tournament. That's my grandpa. That feels like a catchphrase. It should be a catchphrase. That's my grandpa. What? I'll exchange them for monster points. Yeah, I was right about that. Yes, monster points. You can keep winning to get more and more. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Battle even once yet. Of course. But didn't you just create a symbol? That gave you monster points. I did. I did. Use those to start with. Let me give you some tips. Oh, here comes the lengthy explanation of weaknesses, though, isn't it? Monsters can be separated into light, dark, fire, water, earth, wood, wind, and thunder. Yep. In other words, each monster has a different attribute. And each attribute has a different advantage. Listen, I'm just saying, this is going to be... This is going to be some dialogue, but it's important, and I need to learn it. If you don't think you can remember them, I suggest you take notes. I think Yugi literally take notes. Are you ready? Takes notes. You you could reference this chart whenever in the dark game, by the way. Strong against dark, and dark is strong against Earth. For whatever reason. I don't know why that one. They just need to fit something. Fire is strong against wood, and water is strong against fire. Yep, those make sense. Those make perfect sense, obviously. Earth is strong against thunder, and wood is strong against wind. You know, those actually do make sense. Those make sense. Wind is strong against water, and thunder is strong against light. I would have thought thunder is strong against water. And thunder creates light. Hold on, I'm confused. That's it. Okay, thanks, Grandpa. I, I just genuinely... 
When I was a kid and I had the, I went through this first exposition, I can remember just how confused and overwhelmed I was by this, and I just kind of threw it out of the window in my brain. Yes, wow, thank you. It's not, though. It's, it, that is yummy, Yugi. You should always take your opponent's attribute into account. Mm hmm mm hmm That's another important point to remember. Yep. Well, the rest is up to you. It's a good strategy game, though. At the end of the day, it is a good strategy game with a lot to it. Can you show me the monsters? Show me! Okay. We are gonna buy a right leg of the forbidden one. We're gonna buy... Feral Imps are too expensive. We're gonna buy a Karibo, a Skellingel... Needle ball too expensive. I know I'm going to want some water at the start. Man eater. I'm going to take a scorpion. I still have a lot. Okay, okay, okay. So I'll grab one of these, one of these. I'll grab one of those, the more expensive kind. Um, we should definitely get an Earth and a Wind. We'll get one of the more expensive ones. Hmm, APPP, Attack, Defense. These are basically the same. Except, I actually think this guy's better. So we can get one more Steel Scorpion, we get a Piet Moth, we get a Droll Bird. Actually, yeah. Having 12 is a lot. I think you need a minimum of 10. And I think I had a hard time getting to that a lot with like the uh, pre-built symbols. Actually, no, the pre-built symbols come with cards. What the fuck am I talking about? Anyway, there are four areas. We can't even look at them yet. You go to the left, then you go to the top right, then you go to the top left by the volcano. Because, you know, volcanoes are intense. Hey, Yugs! Yeah, we'll fight. This is still a tutorial. We're still in a tutorial. So, we'll get past it. But this is genuinely, you know, the United Gamer. This is my favorite childhood game. But I say that for quite a few games. There's, like, I think a, a good five that get into circulation there. It's usually this one, Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 2. I guess Minecraft counts. Ah, good old Joey. Joey, he was very excited. Think I'm gonna take it easy on you just because you're my friend. I wouldn't have it any other way. Is anyone else bothered by his eyes? Are his eyes usually the same exact color as his hair? Hold on. Hold on. Hold on, I swear that's not right. Joey Wheeler. No, that's not right. Well, I guess it's right. I guess it's kind of right. They're supposed to be a little darker. They're supposed to be a little darker. <laughs> We'll do. Mm. Yugi's gonna have a long talk with us. That's what I remember. Alright, right, right. We gotta do the quick card shuffle. And by that I mean whatever you get. Higher number. I don't know why you'd ever choose attack second in this game. Literally, it's just a... No, I guess you do it to pick what side you want in the first placements. But... Again, I think going first is just an ultimate advantage in Yu-Gi-Oh. That's old Yu-Gi-Oh, at least. It cha it's changed now. Um, hey, Yugs. Okay, I'll select my. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. What's wrong, Yugi? Aww. There's a limit on which monsters you can use. Right. This was the MP. Which is determined by monster points. Okay, I'm glad I put more in there. You mean the points I paid in order to get monsters. Wait, no. Each stage has a oh right, that's points. what it's determined by the, the stage. The total monster points of the monsters you use cannot exceed the limit. Right, 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 right. That if the monster point limit of the stage is one hundred. Yep. Then I can use ten monsters. Yeah, that's how it works. That's math. Use five monsters. Listen, math. I get it. I'm already doing that in Pokemon Violet right now. So you have to think carefully about the balance of which monsters to use. And I'm not, I'm not happy about that, too. I'm, I, I'm, I wanted to do the school stuff, because it's the stuff I've not seen at all. And I'm just like, math classes that I have to sign up? No. No. Anyway, we're going to have a leg. It's going to kick him. Uh, definitely going to use both our waters here. 
And, you know, eh, no, you're going to be weak in this one. We'll use... So, how can I switch that around? Arguably, you're weak. So... Actually, no, we will do this. We will do this. Uh, again, I don't know why you would put your thing anywhere else but here. What button is it? What the hell? I'm hitting all the buttons. Wait, hold on. Oh, I was just looking at the map. Okay, okay, okay. I, I, I've never hit that button before. All right, we'll place our symbol right here. Look at that beautiful thing. Uh, manual, manual. The only time I ever did random place as a kid is when I was just really, really impatient. We're going to put you up here. Because arguably you're not going to be all that useful in a fight here. These guys, however, I'm going to want down low. And for very good reason. That you'll see soon. You will see very soon. Um, you arguably are really good from the back. Pause. Is that it? Yeah, okay, that's all my monsters. Five against four, but he has all fire, so... And believe it or not, this map is not good for Joey Wheeler. So... <laughs> Any more exposition? It's time to start. Okay, so the AP is for what I can... Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, good. Each piece has a set requirement of AP. Indeed. And if I move it, then the AP on the screen decreases, correct? Yep. So you have... Did he say on the screen? AP, I don't know, maybe they're using like the old dual modules. I don't know, where you're like up on the thing and you got like all the place... I don't know how to describe it, my brain so not working good. careful about the amount of AP when thinking about how to move my pieces. It's so weird how this dialogue gets cut off. You can't move anything if you don't summon monsters from your capsules. So you have to choose which monsters to summon. Of course. You're right. Okay. They didn't really bounce the music well on this one. But this is like the whole... This... Well, not the whole thing. There's a little bit more to it. You can actually, uh... One of the coolest things you can do towards late game, if you have like all five Exodia pieces, is you can summon Exodia and just have him as a piece, I believe. Same with some fusion monsters, like Alt Blue Eyes Ultimate Dragon. Also, spoiler, that's all that Joey has, is four of those things. So now I have to make a decision. Do I unlock the rest of my pieces? Oh, right, this is actually important. Yes, you are correct. Where it says AP on the screen, there's a number with a plus sign next to it. Yes. This yes. Must be the amount of AP that increases on my turn. Indeed. Yeah. And if you summon a How does Yugi know all this and not Yami? That means either I move a summoned monster or I summon so that I can move more pieces. Indeed. That's something I need to think about. Right. It's important to make a decision based on the situation. Got to think smart. Got to think smart boy. But I think it's just going to be better for me to summon all of them. I like how it's just a leg. I love that. Just a leg on the field. We'll still be able to move, I think, one of these. And I'm okay with moving this up into the water. It's ability in that yep. Terrain is yep. So there's terrain. There is terrain. So the reason why I say this isn't a good map for Joey is he's fire. And uh, if the terrain is up for water... <laughs> that ain't it. That ain't it for him, Chief. What are you going to do here? Are you going to move pieces or are you just going to summon? Mm. I think it's in response to the fact that I moved pieces. I think if I didn't move anything, he would have just stayed right where he was. Yep, and that piece... Oh. Listen, it'll back him up. That's fine. I'm going to keep everyone around the same group for the most part. And the reason I'm doing this is because if he tries to gang up on anyone, I'm going to do that. I'm going to gang up on him first, basically, is what I'm trying to say.
Alright, he's got all of his pieces out. So he can only get 180 per turn. I get 300. So I don't think he can move all of his pieces every turn. Oh, and this. This is why the map sucks for him. When I was a kid and this first happened, I was flabbergasted. And worried. But it's actually such an advantage for you. What? Unless you're five. You can't be serious. This can't happen. Yes, it can. And it's also, I guess, going back to the symbol, it's very fitting for Yugi to have the dark one, obviously. Um, we could do that. Or we could do this. We do lose our advantage from the water, but... We do most of the damage. We do, we do almost all of his health. You can turn these animations off, by the way, if you get sick of them by the end of the game, and I don't know if I will. Just because they're fun. They add something to it for the viewing experience. That was super effective. All my Pokemon knowledge came through with this game. Well, all of it, as in half of it. Okay, Kaya. <laughs> she just snored really funny. Um, okay, what can I do? I can move you there. Nope, I meant to, I meant to accept that, actually. That was what I wanted to do. Now, if I do this... Yeah. We're going to do this. We're going to move up to protect the pieces. Not that I think this AI is going to hold off from attacking us because we're all here, right? I think the AI is still going to do it. I'm just not positive. Not entirely positive. Yep, that's the Yugi I know. Relentless. But that doesn't mean I'm going to surrender. You should, though. You're not going to be doing well, Joey. Yeah, it's not going to do that much. I'm not worried at all. And your other guys can't join in. Quick and slip. That's my motto. That's dirty, Joey. Get started, Joey. Okay, Yugi, that's even dirtier, the fact you want to join in. That is chill. Chill. But I will say, these, this, this game made me like these guys. Even though I think they're really useless in the card game. If they even exist. But, you know, you just see him so often with every new character you make. No, oh, yeah, 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 you're gonna attack me, woo. You know, I'm gonna turn it off. For his. Now, like I said, I probably won't till the end, even at the end of the game, and now I just did. Turn the animations off. Oh, and I, I guess another thing that I should say. It's not gonna be explained until I do it. I could just... I could just Hail Mary. And if I kill this, I just win. Right? Just, it's just a win. Real quick, though, I want you getting some experience right now. That's what I want. This guy's a little fucking Tasmanian devil little thing. Ugh. It's a nightmare fuel, to be completely honest, but I love him at the same time. He's like if Elekid got mutated in something really horrible with Pikachu. That's actually more of a mutated Pikachu, to be honest. The thing is, is though, our pieces get experience individually. So we can level up and become stronger. Less, Yug. Yug. Canonically, that's how you spell Yug. Y-U-G-E. Alright, we're gonna do this. Ooh. Stretch. Stretching's important. Remember that. Ow. Okay, ow, that hurt. There was like a big cascade of pops. Along my like collarbone. Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Although I will say I probably should have let this guy kill it, because he's been attacking and he's not getting. Ex well, he is getting too experienced for attacking. Man, you're not gonna let up, not even a little bit, are you? Uh, no. You did not want me to go easy on you, Joey. Uh, I thought I could attack him. I guess not. What about you? Yes. Good, the leg gets experience. I'm happy about this. How does the leg attack? What what animation? Please tell me it's just a kick to the face. Please. Please. I do not remember. The, ugh, did you see where its joint is? Its bone? If I hadn't already made tomorrow short, that'd be it. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, okay. oh. It's the bottom 
the ninth. Two outs. Baseball reference. I gotta make my move now or it's over. Indeed. <clears throat> uh, we will move here. Wait, how much health do you have? Do you have full health? No, you don't. So I'm gonna do a power move. Bring you over there. And then you get to come hang out over here. And that's it. That's it for our turn. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Enemy turn. Is it gonna go up this turn, the water? No, next turn. Hey, you better not do a lot of damage. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. Oh, that's a lot. Guys, we have 5 HP left. Yikes. You know, I do appreciate knowing the outcome of the fight before the animation, but also it kind of does take away the incentive to watch the animation. If it did, if the numbers, like, popped up for the first time there, there would be incentive to watch the animation. That was a lot of damage, but, but he survived. survived. I remember that line. Look, he's trying to hide. There are better places to hide, my friend. Here it goes. I like the little screen rise. It feels like a glitch, honestly, but it's not. It's just the walls are getting bigger. This does feel very Yu-Gi-Oh, though, in, in some way. It feels like a field spell somehow. Uh, this will probably kill. Ah, oh, I thought I was moving there. Fuck. You know what? Hold on. I need to check this first. Damn it, no. Okay. You're gonna get some experience. I want everyone to have some experience after this. And just be good. Everyone that's participating, which is not even half of my monsters. Look at that, dude. That is... Yu-Gi-Oh cards are just freaks of nature half the time. It's, it's really kind of either really cool or really horrifying. There's no in-between with Yu-Gi-Oh. It's like Magic the Gathering, most of it is like, at least this is beautiful fucking art. This is just creepy. Man, you're not gonna let up. You already said that. You already said that, Joey. This guy's gonna finally get a kill experience. We're just gonna skip that animation. Just get that over with. Beautiful. Oh, so close. So close. We'll also start gunning for the uh, symbol, I guess. Why not? Why not? It's right there. If it's gonna be right in our in our way, I mean, hey. Thing is, I don't know if you get more money for killing the symbol or for killing every piece. Oh shit, he's gonna destroy that. It's fine. It just means I can't use it next turn or next duel. All right, Joey. I'm betting on this monster. It's the same monster. You have four of the same monsters, Joey. You're betting on the same one. You're doing better than I thought, Joey. <laughs> Yo, that's actually a diss. And there's more where that came from. I didn't think you'd even destroy one. Joey, do not take that as a compliment. That is a diss. It is an insult. It is... It is no. Well, yeah, no, basically this is dungeon... Our dual monsters, but, uh, chess. Hmm. Well, can't attack it this turn. Hold on, hold on. I think my plan is to do this. Now I'm going to test to see if this gives um, more experience to attack the symbol. I'm pretty sure it gives more experience to kill the symbol. I think it's like 40 instead of 20. But I'm not positive. Again, it's been like 8-10 years since I played this game. But it's a, it's a glorious, weird looking game and I love it. Look at that, I'm just attacking a pillar. A fire pillar. I think that's just a bonfire on top of, like, a lookout. This is Lord of the Rings. Yeah, you get 10 for attacking Man, that. That's not even funny. It's a little funny. It is a little funny, Mr. Wheeler. Because instead of just... Right, I'm just going to see how this goes. Yes, it will. Yeah, it very much will finish you. 100%. I do really like the premise of this game. It's simple. It's like chess. But Yu-Gi-Oh. And not chess. 
Well, it kind of chess, if you think about it. Our symbols are kind of like the kings, but they fight more. I don't know. I don't know the, how far the comparison goes. It doesn't really go that deep. I guess this is the end of the line. Yep, you're out of the tournament, Joey. Congratulations. Congratulations. This must be after he dueled Grandpa at Pegasus's or at uh, Seto Kaiba's tournament. You know, his last win on screen. I lost, Yugi. Yep. But Joey, you fought valiantly. No, he didn't. <laughs> yeah, I guess I did. Maybe that's why I don't feel that bad that I lost. Or you just because you lost to me, it's inevitable. I mean. <laughs> now you. Yeah. Don't you be losing any other duels, all right? Uh, I don't plan to. I won't let you down. Oh, he got a hundred. Oh. <laughs> Why would I say no? I mean, it's a mostly stat increase. I mean, kind of. There's three stats increase. Again, why not? Why wouldn't you? I, I think you're foolish not to. Unless you're just doing a run where everything has to stay level one. Oh, and then you get a little experience after... And I'm gonna take those two. Hey, what's wrong, Joey? What's up, man? There's something I forgot to tell you about this tournament. What? That it ruins your eye color? There are five opponents in each area. Oh. And if you don't beat them all, you can't move on. Yeah, there's only 20 duels Please. in this. Well, maybe 21. I just defeated you, Joey, so I have to defeat four more opponents. Math again. Right. It's how it's how we do it. And if you clear four areas, a whole new path opens up. A new path? Oh, right. Like I know. Just some rumors. Well, just keep winning. And maybe it'll all make sense later. Eventually, hopefully. Thanks, Joey. That's exactly what I'll do. Yeah, See you later, friend. Yeah, butts. See you later. Could you not say kick? A new path. A new path. I don't know what the new path is. But we're traveling on our own road right now. Indeed. No matter who we face on this road, we must win. And we'll do it together. Okay, guys, it's not that serious. Yeah. It's chess. It's a Yu-Gi-Oh, but chess. Yes. Memory card slot one. No data. Hey. Hey. For a second, I thought it was about to kick me to the title screen. I'm like, no, that's not what happens. That is not what happens. If, it, if that's what happens, I'm going to be very confused. Because that's not what's supposed to happen. I'd be very disappointed if that was what happened. Yep, we cleared that. So next we got Tristan Taylor, but real quick. Real quick. We're going to go back. We do have a limit to how many monsters we can take with us, though, in general. So we will reach an increase like by... Got anything new? No. Literally nothing? Okay. Okay, goodbye. What would you like to do? I have everything I need for the Joe or the Tristan fight. Absolutely everything I need. So, if there's nothing new, I'm not buying it. I ain't buying it. Come on. Let's go beat up Tristan, because he deserves it. Honestly, Tristan probably should have been the tutorial, because he has way less experience than Joey. Let's be real. That, and that picture is way too good for him. None again. I think I've mixed a bit too much abridged Tristan into my into my brain for actual Yu-Gi-Oh. This music creeped me out as a kid, though. Just the fucking strings. And then you got this in the corner? Like, what the fuck? Ta-da! It's me! The man, the legend, Tristan Taylor! Hanging out where there's poisonous mushrooms. Most likely. Yugi, I may not be as experienced as you when it comes to games. Or anyone, for that if matter. you take me lightly, I'm gonna make you pay. You're not. I know. That's why I'm going to use all my skills to defeat you. No matter who my opponent is... I will use all my strength to defeat you. Basically, I don't know what holding back I is. As a true duelist. Oh. Um, maybe you don't need to use all your skills. 
all of them. No. All. You don't get the satisfaction of killing a single monster today, Tristan. Ah! Six is better than three. I don't know why he picks over there. I think it's actually a disadvantage. But he actually has different types of monsters, which is new. And by new, I mean we're only in the second duel, so everything's pretty new. Uh, so we're going to need that. Um, we are going to need arguably you two. You. We have 68 left. Um, we would probably like Earth. 54, uh, fine. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure. That's like, what, five again? We'll put it up here. Manual. I mean, random is actually pretty good for here. But, I'm going to put you there. We're gonna put you there. You get to go there. Fire Reapers, you get to go there. Alright, so the three monsters on top will be heading straight towards the plant area, and then the two monsters, the Earth and Thunder one, will be going towards the uh, electrified area. It's time to start. It is indeed. We are going to start with you two. Can we do anything else? Okay, we're gonna, we are going to do this. This is what I meant by you two, was the two of those Grim Fire Reapers. But I didn't know if I could do two and then something else for the bottom, but I could. Okay, I gotta think like two moves ahead. You got to think more than that. Which I'm not exactly good at. I've thought like five. So, you're fucked, Tristan. Especially with your Piet Moths. That's what he's got. However, he does have field advantages. So I might want to wait for him to move through all of the poison. I will use Again, we're going to activate everyone. And then we'll start moving people towards those borders. Again, I don't know if the Earth dude is going to be immune to the uh, electricity. I don't think so. I know these guys are not going to be immune to the poison. I know that for a fact. So, this is definitely a, a tougher battle than Joey, but it's definitely not exactly hard. But those thunder pieces move so fast. Hey, KX, how you doing today? Joe Mama. That's who it is. We are going to put you right there. And then I am going to move my piece, actually, up here. And then... Oh, Joey Wheeler? You don't know who Joey Wheeler is? He's the guy with the Brooklyn accent. He's the Brooklyn guy. The blonde. Damn, that dude is moving fast. I guess I can just wait for him. Okay. We are gonna move you here. I don't want to go into the poison. You are going to move there. What you eating? Because I am a little jealous. I'm hungry. And I don't... I guess I have Hot Pockets. I could make some Hot Pockets. That wouldn't be the worst. Alright, he's going to be moving pretty slowly through this. So this is where our first fight's actually gonna- Oh, oh! You're moving back? 
What, do you not like your odds? Sir? I'm just mostly baiting these guys to keep moving forward. Um, and we are going to quickly test something right now. I don't think we're in it yet. We're not in the electrical fields yet. Um, again, I'm going to keep these two away from the poison. I think it does like 25 damage a turn. So like in five turns, my or six turns, my guys are dead. That is not something I want to just endure while traveling to go to a fight that we may not, or may not live. Oh, you're going that way now? Oh, I do. I take damage. Hello. Everything's going according to cake. Anyway, I think I can attack you from here. Oh, no, I can't. Let's do that, then. We're going to do this, and then we are actually going to do this. Real quick. Try and bait them to come closer. I'm afraid they're going to start moving over here. But if they do, they're going to start taking damage every turn. So I guess it's okay. I guess it's okay. That's not good for me. That is good for me. That's good for me. That's not good for... Well, actually, that's very good for me. Do you know what's about to happen to you, dude? You're getting two shot by the two dudes you just moved right next to. That was such a bad strategy. Well, now these guys are on my side. Again, stolen from Joey Wheeling. This is Yu-Gi-Oh chess. Very close. Very close. It's chess with extra steps, actually. If I take another attack. Yep. I'll be on the next train to Loserville. No, Deadville. Yu-Gi-Oh! over Pokemon for the most part, I think, yes. Um, video game-wise, for the most part, no. Anime-wise, yeah. Uh, time out! Time out! Just hit the pause button, Tristan. God damn. I have a fuck ton of cards for Yu-Gi-Oh! I also have a fuck ton of Pokemon cards, though. <clears throat> but I've actually built decks up for Yu-Gi-Oh! I've, I've done well in Yu-Gi-Oh! online, you know? I have more of a connection to it. Beautiful. Alright, now I am not scared. Well, actually, I am going to have to wait to send you in. Alright, Piet Ma. You're about to get beat the fuck up. You have one 8-star cars? So it depends. It very, very much depends on the card. Um, eight stars can't be directly summoned. So you're going to either have to tribute two monsters or read its card effect to know if it's any decent. It very much depends. They tend to be good. I'll say that. I have never heard of a Hexer, to be completely honest with you. Uh, next turn, if that Piet Moth doesn't move, I can I can move with the plant. Man, I feel like an amateur in a world of champions. That's because you are Tristan, Taylor, Wizard. Are you talking about the Dark Magician? Because that's an eh card. It depends if you build your whole deck around it, then it can be good. Yeah, Dark Magician. It's... Eh, it can be good. Again, you have to build your whole deck around it, but... If that's all the damage you can deal, then my monster will not fall. Red Eyes Black Dragon, again, build, you have to build your whole deck around it. A lot of those older Yu-Gi-Oh cards aren't good unless you use all the support that they've built over the years. until the very end of the duel. This might get me killed. Some can be worth stuff if it's like first edition mint condition, but not as much as Pokemon's worth stuff. Pokemon is worth so much more card-wise. 
And then you got the uh, Magic the Gathering cards that are worth over 10 grand as well. I think one of them's worth like 100 grand in Magic the Gathering, the Black Lotus card. Alright. You're gone. I have no idea. Honestly, with Yu-Gi-Oh cards, I have no idea how to tell if it's like one of the first editions. That's a Google question. For sure. I think it could be a first edition of the box set that it's a part of. You never know if it's actually like the first box set ever. Yeah, I'm moving them in. Fuck it. If I can get the first strike off... Fuck! I'm gonna have to do this. Alright, KX. Appreciate you coming out. Have a good rest of your day. After this, I'm gonna go to bed. Yep, you're gone. Uh, animation off. I don't care right now. But that just opened you up to die next turn, so that's beautiful. There we go. It's not going to do much. Okay, apparently it's going to do something. Oh. <laughs> what is strong against lightning? Was it wood? Or was it... No, wind was strong against wood. I think I can ship. Yep, take 15 damage, doesn't matter. That's gonna take forever to kill us, by the way, so I'm not worried anymore. Anyway, let me... What, I can't actually pause the game? Okay. Okay, this should work out for us. Um, next turn, it's probably going to run away, to be completely honest. Uh, which is going to be annoying, but it, it'll probably be just going after a symbol after that if it just keeps running. Our fire uh, archers are going to do really well against the symbol, so... Nope, not taking it easy, dude. That's your last piece now. Yeah, I'm not worried about this battle animation. Let's just keep it moving. Oh, I'm trying to at least get one more duel in. That it? That it? I wish Maneater Plant was still here. Would have been nice to be going after the symbol already. But I took the risk. I knew it was going to die. But... Yeah, it doesn't matter, dude. I'm gonna kill you next turn. That was a bad decision, unless you just want to get this over with. Yeah, I really don't care about this part of the damage. I'm gonna be completely honest with y'all. I just noticed that my phone hasn't been in live chat for a long time. I'm not talking just this stream. I'm talking probably for a lot of the streams recently. This will finish you. Ah, that's aggressive. I'm starting to get exhausted though, because last night I was up all night. I took a nap today in the middle of the day, in between breakfast and uh, I dinner. I steamrolled like a freeway. That is. No wonder you're a champion. Wow. Lots of sexual innuendos in this goddamn game, apparently. Victory player. Can't even pull the name that I chose. I knew I didn't stand a chance against an expert like you, but it was a lot of fun. Good. Keep it up, Yugi. I'm counting on you to win it all. Oh, I will. <clears throat> I think the next uh, game is the first one I've ever had trouble with growing up.
What am I going to steal, by the way? I guess the two Thunder ones. No choice taking Piet Ma. Right? Ew, am I right? Yeah, sure, why not? We'll save after every time. Sounds like a good idea to me. Oh, but the exhaustion is actually starting to hit me right now. Like, I, I really trying to hit me right now. Oh, I am one tired boy. Actually, I feel like I should zoom in on my camera if I can do that. Because it was letting me the other day. Oh, is that it? Is that the max? Okay. Well, hey, it's closer to me. I bet that's a bit more professional. Now I'm going to have to do everything else. Um, I guess we have time for this. Good old Duke Devlin. I'm surprised this isn't the game he made, by the way. But no, he made Dungeon Dice Monsters. Totally different thing. Totally, totally different thing. A hundred percent. Actually, that might have changed all of my webcam settings. Hopefully it did. Anyway, we're in space now. We're there. Don't worry about it. Dungeon dice monsters, so I'm a game expert myself. You're a dice expert. You're a DD expert. Let's see who's the real king of games. Not a chess expert. I challenge you to a duel. I accept your challenge, Duke Devlin. When I win, all will hail the new champion. No, they won't. It's time to duel. Get out of here, you green. Like, his eyes are just weirdly green. They don't have, like, any, like, Pupil, re well, they have a pupil, right? But it's not like anyone else's pupil. We're going this one, by the way. That one's the winning card. Oh, I told you. This is a very small, intimate map, good for dark types. But I also am going to use my only light type. He is going to have a thunder, two thunders. Um, quick question, quick question. What is thunder weak to? I need to figure that one out. Is it going to tell me here? Am I blind? Well, I mean, of course I have to pick you. We'll pick you. Um, What's your pattern looking like? Move three, attack one? No thanks. This one was pretty useless. These guys are consistently good. Same with this guy. But... What are you? Nah, you're not really... What about Kariba? What's your attack pattern? That's a pretty good... That's pretty good. Yeah. We'll do this. I think we can only bring a max of six anyway. And this one? Yeah, I'm going to manual play still. It really doesn't matter, though. Hold on, can I? That feels better. That feels much better. Again, I chose monsters that are just kind of consistent and good at movement and attack from a distance. You don't want too many close-up monsters and then you have to, like, overextend and one of the guys gets just fucking dogpiled, right? And also, don't put me back. It's time to stop. We'll start with Karibo because he's the cheapest. Gives us the most options afterwards. And then I think we're going to do the two fire dudes. And that should let us summon everyone next turn. Beautiful. Beautiful. This one's going to take longer than six minutes, which is how long I was planning to stream. Playtime's over. Playtime? Just... It, it, bro, we just started. Why are you saying that? Ah, Karibo. How original. Thankfully, he summoned it. He put it on the field first. So. You have three Karibos? Wait, why am I worried? 
Oh, you summoned everything first turn. That's... Yikes. Yikes. I will use... Summon, 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 summon. Again, a foot. Still killing me, the 25 minute mark. We are going to move no one else. Okay, then. Yes, I want to end my turn. I do not want to move my fucking symbol. I am fine. Fine not doing that. Armages, by the way. They do move pretty fucking. They're bishops, basically. Eh, no, they're not. They don't attack diagonally. Question is this I'm gonna turn the animation on for that one. I haven't seen it yet. Well I have, just not in a long time. Skell Angel. What are you doing? Also, why does he have feet? I guess because he has hands. Also, it's a deadly attack, let's be honest. One of your crew was already looking a little hurt. What's up with that? Uh, I can't believe I took that. I mean, we have minus five attack here, but it's fine because we're getting first damage off, and that's just super important here. As long as we do half, I didn't look at the numbers properly. I should have looked at the numbers properly. That probably would've been good. Probably wouldn't have been looked good. Look at the doodle -la -las. Oh my god. I'm assuming that's his hair. I'm assuming. 112. Yes. Good, 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 good. That's bad. It is bad. I have a huge advantage now. Oh, please tell me I reach. That's... This is beautiful. I'm going to skip this one because we've seen him a lot. So his three Karibos are now all below half health, which is huge. This is absolutely a, a massive turn two. Or three. Whatever this is. Jeez, how can I win now? I don't see it, dude. I don't. Okay, you're going to go for one of the fire dudes. That's fine. If that's all the He's going to use the Karibo to kill him. Yep. That Karibo dies next turn. So does this one. So does the one up top. This is what's gonna let me turn this it's not, though. Like, it's not. I already did all the damage I needed to. I'm taking it one at a time. Yeah, I'm actually not. So that's actually an apt thing for him to kind of say. Ooh, 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 are you going to take out both fires this turn? That is actually big. I don't know if you can, though. Yes, you can. Oh, you decide not to attack him? Huh. That's really such a strange decision. That was really weird. I don't know why he decided to not attack the fire skeleton archer. I wasn't no, we were concentrating. We planned that. Nope. That would have ended the duel prematurely, basically. Alright, you're gone. My Karibo's better than your Karibo. I got better nuts than you. Ninety-eight is over half. Hold on. Damn it. Looks like that Karibo's not dying this turn. Unless... Can you attack? No, you'll be able to if you do this. No! <sighs> it's better I go for the goddamn... 
I can't believe I fucked that up like that. We're still gonna win this. Don't get me wrong, but I just... Oh. That's so dumb. Don't think... Good up, Duke. I'm gonna get rid of this scorpion here. It's worth it, but we could have had that Karibo dead too. And it would have been just two on four, or five, and it would have been an easy win. Yes, level up. You don't get a heal from that, which is a bit of a bummer, but. Yep, that's it. Yep. Yep. Alright, Duke, what are you gonna do? Yep, you're killing him. That's fine. But if that's all you can kill, then we win next turn, I think. Because Water Guy takes down... Mm, never mind. Maybe, 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 maybe. Uh, never mind. Not anymore. You attack you, you're dead. Hold on, what can Karibo do over there? Alright, yeah, they'll start helping out if we move that way with you. Um, what about you? Yeah, let's start advancing forward. And then we'll start moving my symbol actually towards the top of the map, away from their one alive creature, right? I'm away from their one Karibo. And that's everyone. And we should win. This was easy. I don't know what I was worried about. Again, that doesn't matter. It doesn't. At all. I'm sorry, Karibo. Couldn't even get the kill there. Damn. Yikes. And that's game. This will finish you. The only line he has, I think, for that. I think it was one finishing move line. Yep, you suck, Duke. I even made some big mistakes, like two. Two big mistakes, I think. And you couldn't even capitalize, man. Yugi, you really are the king of games. Yep. You're don't ever forget it. Yourself. Yes, you are. I lost, but I don't regret a thing. Be Yugi, keep that. We'll do. That's what I do. I don't think our symbol's gonna be any close to evolving. Evolving? Leveling up. Nope, we're getting there, actually. We're over halfway there. Uh, what shall we take? I mean, I guess we'll take a Karibo and a Steel Scorpion. And then real quick, we'll check the card shop, and then... If it doesn't have anything, we'll end, end stream. And if it does have something, we'll buy it. And if not, we won't. It's kind of how it works when you go to a store. Loading screens in this are very short compared to Scarlet and Violet. Which, by the way, is probably one of my biggest complaints about the game, is just the loading screens. Next one, by the way, is T. Gardner, aka Taya Gardner. Taya, Taya, Taya. I feel like Taya, you either love her or you hate her, right? Right? I feel like that's it. I feel like there's really not a lot of people in the in-between camp with her. You either think she's just the first character and she gets a pass because she's a nostalgia, or you just what absolutely you love like her. To do? Doesn't look like we're gonna have anything new. Um, but it's about time I bought some of these things. So 
It's about time we start buying the other things. Buy this one, buy all those five. What would you like Are those automatically to added to my deck, by the way? I don't think so. I do not think so. They weren't new, by the way. I just decided to buy them, finally. Just to fill out our roster a bit more evenly, typing-wise. Boop, boop, boop. Boop. I wish there was an add all button. Maybe there is. No, there isn't. I think that's it. Yep. Okay. Beautiful. Beautiful. You can ask me to save the game now. <laughs> save data. We're doing that. God, I gotta pee. Memory card slot one. Hat. Yes. I might do my own playthrough of this on the side. Like, I'm not even kidding. I absolutely love this game, and I don't know what happened to the disc. So, again, I do appreciate everyone hanging out today. This was awesome. I absolutely love, and I mean love, this game to death. And I'm just going to be super excited to play the fuck out of it. Maybe one day we'll even speedrun it. Who knows? Who knows? I'm feeling fucking adventurous, but... I do appreciate anyone for hanging out as long as they did. I know some people were lurking, so I appreciate you. I know y'all aren't here anymore, but spiritually, I hope you know 